And she started it off spicy. She said, how many bodies do you have and rate them from best to worst? What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Simone. So today is day 9 of Vlogmas. Whew. It's been a long journey. So what I'm going to do today is basically do like a little Christmas tag. And then I also did like a little questionnaire. You know like the little question thing I put on Instagram. So I had people ask me questions for a QA and a if they wanted to. So I got a couple questions, not a lot. So I'll be doing a Christmas tag first and then I'll do the Q&A afterwards. But before we get started here, if you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see more vlogging content or fashion and hair related content as well. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. First one is, how do you celebrate Christmas? Well, usually me and my family will like all come together at one of each other's houses. We all either meet up at my house, my auntie's house, or my grandma's house. And I think last year we met up at... I want to say we met up at my house last year, but to be honest, last year was such a blur in December because we didn't even put up our tree last year because we were so busy. So, how will you celebrate this Christmas? Well, since COVID and all, I will not be able to see all my family members, so we're just going to grab each other's like, presents off at each other's houses, and then we might do like a little Zoom meeting or like a group FaceTime so we can all like open it up together. So, that's how we're going to celebrate this Christmas. But I'm going to miss like seeing all my family because I think that's like the most important thing to me or like my favorite part about Christmas is seeing my family all together. Alright so next is are you good at buying gifts? I like to think so because usually I try to get gifts that I know people are gonna like and that like something that they actually want or enjoy like I like putting some actual thought into my gift and like thinking outside the box. My family also like we all put out like a list for each other of things that we want so sometimes I just pull stuff from that list or sometimes get something like outside of the list so that way it's like unexpected kind of like a surprise kind of. What's your most memorable Christmas memory? I know, I know. Okay, so I think I had to be about 11 or 12. I was in middle school or something. So this Christmas was at my auntie's house. And I remember I had got a gift and it said that it was to me from my cousin. And you know, I ripped the wrapper and stuff off and I see it's a Jordan box, Air Jordan. So I got heck of excited because I don't know if I had any Jordans at that time yet, but I was excited. I was like, ooh, I got some Jordans. I was like, ooh, they got me some shoes. I opened it up and it's just a bunch of random stuff in there. <laughs> and I never felt so played in my life. I was like, wow, y'all really just played me. And then they handed me like the actual gift. I don't remember what the actual gift was, but I just remember one of the Jordans. I mean, not getting the Jordans. But yeah, I should have got my revenge, but I didn't. How did you spend last Christmas? I believe all of my family came to my house and we, no no we went to my auntie's house last year so we went to my auntie's house and then we did our little gift exchange and everybody opened their presents up and stuff and then it was pretty chill sometimes we'll have like a little brunch where we'll all like cook a little food or we'll bring something to each other's house and then to serve there and then we'll just eat it Ooh, my auntie, she makes this good, um, so what she'll do, she'll get some Cool Whip, she'll put brown sugar, I think she just put brown sugar in the Cool Whip and then she mixed it up and then she used it as a dip for some strawberries. That is just so bomb. I mean, it's easy to make, but it's just so good. What is your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie will have to be Home Alone now, which I know a lot of people probably think it's overrated. I mean, but that movie is a take a good. Like, I love the part where uh, my favorite part of that movie is when the pizza guy came and then he started playing the little uh, scene from the TV. He was like, keep the change, you feel the animal. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Cheapskate. Hey, I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. One, two, ten. This Christmas, that will always be my, one of my favorites also. Favorite Christmas song. 
Ooh, my favorite Christmas song is All I Want For Christmas Is You. Like, that one just put me in a good mood. And then, she just sings so nice in that song. Like, it's just so nice. Nah, I lightweight feel like listening to it right now. To be honest, I'll probably have it playing in the background of this video, to be honest. So, look out for that. Also, like, the song by this Christmas, song by Chris Brown. That one's a good one, too. But Mariah Carey, she just puts the icing on the cake. Do you like eggnog? No. I think eggnog is nasty. Like, I don't think what the hype about it. I had it one time when I was younger, and it was disgusting to me. To be honest, I kind of want to try it again, just because, you know, like, your taste bud can kind of change. I would be down to try it again, but I doubt I'll like it again, because it's disgusting. Nasty. Overhyped. Overrated. I'll take a hot chocolate any day. All right, next question is, have you ever built a gingerbread house? I remember making one with my mom like a long, long time ago, but I think that's the only time I made one. I was trying to have my mom do like the little gingerbread challenge with me, but she didn't want to do it because she kind of camera shy, so. But, so I respect that. I mean, I guess I could do it by myself, but you know, I feel like it's more fun with another person, but we'll see, we'll see. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas is just spending time with my family and all of us coming together. And then I also like to see how like, people react when um when they see the gift I bought them because they be so like hyped up sometimes so it makes me happy that they like what they receive final question for the Christmas tag is are you a last minute shopper or are you organized it really depends this year I was very organized like I wrapped all my gifts up and I got all my Christmas presents for everybody before December so this year I was very organized because I had time since the COVID but if COVID wasn't around this year I think I still would have been organized and then I might have been late for certain people just because I might not know what to get them but I think overall I'm pretty organized all right so now moving on to the Q&A that I got from Instagram so <laughs> this was not a question but my cousin said can I get an IG shout out you sure can y'all go follow my cousin at lil.nana underscore so I'm gonna put her little at at the bottom of the screen right here Y'all go follow her. She cool, she cool. Ooh, and she started it off spicy. She said, how many bodies do you have and rate them from best to worst? <laughs> uh, to be honest, I only have one body and that is my boyfriend. And he's my only body and I hope he continues to be my only body. And he's the best right now. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so the next question is, do you wear Invisalign? If so, what's your journey been like? I don't have Invisalign, but I did wear braces. I got them in sixth grade, and then I got them taken off like right before I started my freshman year in high school. So I had it for about maybe two to three years, and it was cool. The only part I didn't like was when I first got them, it was like, it felt weird to eat. And it was hurting a little bit too. Actually, not a little bit. It was hurting a lot. And then it hurts a little bit when you when you go to get them tightened every now and then. But I don't know. It was, it was pretty cool. Like, I didn't really have a lot of issues. Next question is, how old are you? I am 20 years old. I just turned 20 last month on November 4th. Scorpio game. I didn't really get to do much for my birthday, but I did do a photo shoot. So if you want to go see that, be sure to check it out. I don't know where the cars are, even though I've been doing YouTube for a heck of a long now. I don't know. It's either over here or here. But yeah, go check that out either way. What made you start doing YouTube? Well, I had a channel with my bestie. And we did like little challenges and prank. So I was kind of already comfortable with being on camera and stuff. Um, and I knew how to edit and all that stuff. But what made me want to start my own though, uh, my mom, she kind of like pushed me to do it. So I kind of like thank her for pushing me and, you know, kind of encouraging me to get out of my shell and make one by myself. Like she knew that I liked the editing when I was doing it with my friends. So... She's like, well, why don't you do it by yourself? Then you could do stuff that you actually like to do. I'm not saying I didn't like doing what I was doing with my friend, but she was saying so I could do more stuff that I like. Because she always saw me watching, like, hauls and, like, try on hauls and all that stuff. And then those are stuff that I actually do enjoy making for you guys. So I was like, why not just start one on my own and, you know, just show you guys my taste in fashion since that is something I really am passionate about. Like, I love dressing up. And then I was like, well... With this, I could also help people out with how to dress for like certain occasions or how to piece certain outfits together. Because people, they used to always ask me, where you get this from? Where you get that from? So now that I have a YouTube channel, I can just show you guys everything and where I got it from and all that good stuff. Or they would always ask me for like fashion advice. They were like, do you think this go together? Or I was like, 
I think because they saw that I kind of had good taste or knew how to like style stuff together. So that's probably why they came to me a lot. So I was like, you know what? Might as well take this to YouTube also. So that's pretty much what I do. And I do love making it. So I'm kind of glad that she pushed me. And I think if I didn't have this camera also, I probably wouldn't have been having a YouTube channel. Because I got this camera as a Christmas gift last year. But this camera was for me and my friends to make videos, not for myself. So if I didn't have this camera, I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube right now, to be honest. Because me and my friend were recording on our phone before, and that was... It was tough, because we could only record up to like two to three minutes at a time in order for... In order to like send it to my computer. So it was very difficult. And then if it was over three minutes, then we would have to cut the video short and then just send it in like multiple different parts. So it was just very difficult for us and the last question I got is what is your goal do you mean like my general goal in life is to just be my goal is pretty much to be successful stable financially and mentally and then just be happy in general yes I think those are my main goals in life because I always told myself that I want to be successful somehow and I do want to work for that and I am working towards that but I don't want to just be like lazy and just sitting around like I want to do something with my life I want to whether that is doing something with my accounting degree doing something with YouTube like I want to be doing something starting a business like something that just make me successful and doing something productive with my life not just sitting around just being a bum like that's just not for me like I gotta do something so that's why I think my whole life I always kept myself busy doing something where it was sports or clubs or whatever so yeah and then I want to be mentally and financially stable like I always want to make sure that my mental is in check I mean I know I'm gonna have my down moments but no of course you know I just want to be stable with financially no, I really want to make sure that I save my money and that I use my money smart. And I think I really developed like a nice habit of that early because Lord knows that I'm a shopaholic and if I see something I like, I'm going to buy it. But at the same time though, like I know how to control myself. Like I'm not going to go crazy and then just spend like stuff here and there all the time. So yes, I like to shop, but I'm pretty good with like saving everything. So what I do, like when I get my deposit, I'll have half of it going to my savings and then the other half will go into my checking. I always put more money in my savings because I want it to like build up just in case. So I always put about maybe up to about $500 in my checkings and then I'll just throw the rest, I mean throw the rest in my um, savings. So let's say I get a deposit and I already have $500 in my checking, then I'll just put all of that to my savings so that way it should just go up. And then I also started a money market account this year. And because I just had like money in my savings, so the money in my savings was just like sitting there. So I was like, well, it's sitting there doing nothing. I could have money sitting there and, you know, increasing as time goes on. So that's why I started my money market account. And my last goal is just to be happy with life in general. So, I mean, I'm pretty much always happy. I mean, yes, like I said, I'll have my down moments, but I'm pretty quick to like bounce back and you know put myself in check. So I just want to be like happy overall in general with life. Alright so y'all that is pretty much in the video and I need to hurry up because my camera is dying. So I hope y'all really enjoy it and thank you to everybody that asked questions. If you want to see more vlogmas content or fashion and hair related content be sure to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow.